Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Sunday, January 30th, around 9 p.m. Mountain Time 2022. The models are in, and it's showing, well, a freeze down in Texas starting the first week of February. Your pipes will burst, and that's the big story, the big storm. We have the totals. Boston buried after nor'easter dumps 23.8 inches of snow. Ho, ho, ho. Shut up, Al. Keep calm. It's boom time. <laughs> Blizzard nor'easter bomb cyclone. No matter what you call it, the Northeast was buried. And we have some of the amazing snow totals. But first, let's take a ride through Boston. Oh, that Goodness, to say the least. That is just some of the crazy totals. Thousands lose power in the brutal cold after bomb cyclone dumps record setting snow. The, the nor'easter that dumped record setting, setting snow to parts of the East Coast has left treacherous winds and thousands of people without power. Luckily, all the power is back on. Just 7,493 as we do the video without power in Massachusetts. And that's good news. January blizzard. See how much snow fell across Maine. It's insane. 18.6. Lisbon Falls, 18 in Lisbon, 16 in Lewiston. Some of the big totals in Aroostook County, 14 inches in Orient. Cumberland picked up 18 inches in Brunswick, 16 in Westbrook. Franklin over a foot, 16 inches in Seawall and Hancock County, 17 in Kennebec, 16.5 in Randolph. You can see those totals are quite substantial. And here are the latest snowfall for my old stomping grounds. Atlantic City, Smithville, 16. Atlantic City International had 16. Absecon, 18.5. Egg Harbor had 19 inches. Holy mackerel. Cape May County picking up over a foot everywhere. Ocean County over a foot everywhere. Foot and a half in most places like Tuckerton, Toms River, Manahawkin, Delaware. Over a foot everywhere. And that was far from the snow. Uh, who got the most snow? Well, let's take a look at around the Boston area. Sharon, 30.4 inch, 30.4 inches. Rockland, 29.4. Look at those totals. They are not schmodels. And that is for dozens of cities. Holy macaroni, all above two feet. And I have more totals. Eastern PA, if you're there, we'll, we'll leave you links below. Let's check. Take a look at the Massachusetts totals. Abington, 24. Attleboro, 22. Bridgewater, 28. Holy macaroni. 25.6 in Chelsea. 17 in Milford. 29 in Norton. 30.4 in Sharon. 30.9 in Staunton. Wow. New Hampshire totals. 10.9 in Wolfboro. Where is that? Nobody cares. New Hampshire didn't do so well. They had a foot in Exeter. That's their big boom. 14 inches in Kensington. Hello. 11.5 in Newmarket. So you could see this storm was historic. And no thanks. And let's check out the snowfall analysis before we get to the forecast. All right, here we are at the snowfall analysis from the last 48 hours. And they had heavy snow from Norfolk uh, all the way to New Brunswick. Take a look at this. And the big dark purple over 24 inches, over a huge swath south of Boston. Hello, huge 24 inches for central Long Island. A nice little swath there. Let's go to the 72 hour and see if that adds anything. No, we had a nice little pocket of 18 plus in South Jersey. Just as we predicted a foot for most of South Jersey, they got it and a little bit more. I think space weather enhancement had a little bit to do with this. We were at KP4 during most of the storm pumping energy into that low pressure system. But just amazing to see the amount of snow piling up. And it's going to be cold behind that, so heads up. High winds in the northern plains as well. Storm and heavy rains in Texas. Fire threat in Nebraska. A, 
A storm system moving into the Pacific will bring strong winds to the northern Rockies, into the northern plains, may cause blowing snow and blizzard conditions. Holy. And we're mid midwinter here, so stay tuned. We're about to show you some models that might blow your mind. Strong to severe thunderstorms may bring a threat of strong winds, hail, and heavy rain, and localized flooding across portions of the low, lower middle Texas coast. So heads up. We have minor flood warnings here at the Triple Junction where all the rivers come together. Winter storm watches and warnings up in the north and the northwest. Let's get to those models. Here we're looking at the GFS model total snow. Here's Monday. And there's some heavy snow moving into the northwest, including Washington State and Oregon, as well as Idaho and western Montana. And then Tuesday through Wednesday, that snow is going to move down into the Rockies. We're going to start picking up snow in the southern Rockies as a major system moves through the Midwest. Wednesday through Thursday, look at this, all day Thursday into Friday could bring up to three feet of snow for the snow hole. We're talking Indiana and Ohio. Yeah. You're the big winner chicken dinner on this one. All models are lining up the crosshairs. Central and northern Ohio, central and northern uh, Indiana, and central southern Illinois. Take a look at that as well as all of uh, misery completely. It's going to be miserable, but it looks like northern Ohio could be a record-setting event as well as southern Michigan. Sorry, Top Knot, we were off by a little bit, but you're going to still pick up a foot in your boyhood home as you reach Colorado. This is going to be a historic storm, and we're looking forward to it. And there is a second storm that is lining up to hit the same spot potentially. Take a look at this stripe of destruction across the U.S. Exactly opposite of the path of the... Anyway, I do digress. So... But we're, we're looking way out here. But in the next few days, there is a blizzard that is lining up for the Midwest. We're talking Miz Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, southern Michigan, northwestern PA, and all of northern New York. Maybe even take a look at that. New Hampshire, Vermont, and southern Maine. It's insane. So just an early heads up. This is coming in four or five days. And the freeze in Texas we want to warn you about is associated with the storm. This plume is going to start to drop down here Wednesday, February 2nd. Here's February 3rd. That freeze is going to drop down on February 3rd deep into Texas. We're talking almost to zero. There it is, zero by February 4th. And it's going to stay that way for three days. And then warm up on the 6th. So this is pipe-breaking weather here in North Texas, all of Texas, Freeze warning is going all the way down to Mexico. Hello. So heed the warning here and be prepared for February 2nd, 3rd, and 4th in Texas, where there will be a freeze warning as iguanas are falling from trees tonight in Florida. Let's just get to those numbers here. Let's go bring it through tonight. There it is. There are the iguanas falling in South Florida. Uh, where the temperatures are expected to get 35 degrees all the way down to the Keys. Wow, that's chilly. Holy macaroni. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. We re appreciate each and every one of you. Now, a small earthquake was reported in Greenwich, according to USGS, two kilometers northwest of Costco on Thursday. And this is a pretty unique quake, and some nerves were rattled, but it means very little. Now, thank you for telling us. Thank you for reading. There it is. Just north of the Great Lakes there in New York. Greenwich Mean Time? No, it's a different place. But seismic update. No quakes to note. Actually, I, I do digress. There were some interesting quakes today, and we're going to point them out. Because I got the clout. Oh, we had some blot echoes happening here uh, in the region of Argentina, and then a bigger quake popped up here in Peru. So we're keeping a close eye on this region for a larger quake up in the surface. Uh, and then this unique rumbler, a 4.1 near the Palomar Observatory in California, probably the largest quake in a, in a few weeks in that region. So some people's nerves rattled there. Hope you got something out of the video. We're about to put up an, uh, an interesting video up on Magnetic Reversal News about the center of our galaxy. So check that out. And we just got done recording an amazing interview with Micah Dank, the esoteric author of Into the Rabbit Hole series. Be sure to check that out tomorrow night, prime time. Thanks to all our one-time donors, our Patreons. We couldn't do it without you. And the heroes that share these videos, we love each and every one of you. Be safe. That's a boom.
Dinamici. Nee, nee, nee. 